what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel now today on my channel i will be doing something i haven't done i don't think ever on my channel and especially not to myself and y'all can see yeah, you know, my scalp is a little flaky, but you know, I don't care about that right now. My goal is to just quickly um, install this U part wig, and it is a deep part U part. It is a deep part U part wig, and this wig is provided by Ali Pearl Hair, which I will um, show you the unboxing um, in a few minutes. But I'll be super, super lazy when it comes to my hair, so to be honest, I did not feel like braiding all my hair down. So I just took the lazy way out and y'all can see I sectioned off everything that I'm going to leave out as far as my leave out part and the rest of my hair. I just put that thing in two big plaits and I'm going to take a, a bobby pin and just like secure those two braids together with that bobby pin. And then I'm going to take out this um, U-part wig as I mentioned. It is from Ali Pearl Hair. It is a 20 inch, uh, 28 inch deep wave you part wig and i'm going to show you how it comes and how you go ahead and you know open it up and then quickly install it and how i will blend my uh leave out with this hair so stay tuned open up your u-part wig it is like a little um fab like fabric stretchy thing in between it but i just go ahead and cut that off and right now i'm showing you all of the clips that come inside of it and how you attach the u-part wig to your hair is by um opening up those clips and once you have it where you want to place it you push down on the clip and it will lock onto your hair now i do recommend if you don't want to be as lazy as i was in this video to braid your hair down and probably do like a perimeter braid but you know the next time i install a u part wig which will be um very soon because i'm kind of like y'all i'm kind of like over the whole ear to ear lace wig thing for right now i just really want my hair to breathe so i'm going to be doing more leave out looks on myself so um i'm going to show you the correct braid pattern that you can do for a u part if you don't feel like um you know if you don't, if you feel like actually braiding your hair down for the u part correctly but however um all i'm doing is just placing um the clips where it's supposed to lay and just kind of like snapping it locked so the wig is secured and it does not move and this um has three clips around the u area and then it has one on the side where uh, i have most of the wig sitting it's like another one in the front right about there that i'm going to clip down and it also has about two clips in the back as well so once you get everything all clipped this is what it looks like i'm showing you guys it's super super cute i love the curl pattern and today for me blending my leave out i will be using my infinity pro flat iron and my bed head uh crimping iron it is a four level crimping iron and I'm, I think I used it on level three today, which is like um, one step from the biggest crimp that you could create. So I'm going to go ahead and comb my leave out out. And first I'm going to just, you know, part off my part. And I did want, you know, somewhat of a curved part. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just create my part, you know, curve it out a little bit, making sure I leave enough hair to cover uh, both sides of the tracks and in the back as well and as those for those pieces that I left out in the front I will be swooping my baby hairs with those edge pieces um, on this side that I'm about to flat iron right now on the other side I'm just going to like kind of push it um, underneath the wig I just wanted to make sure because my hair is thinner 
so I just wanted to make sure it was enough to cover the tracks like when my hair was in this natural state because I'm I am completely natural and I do not relax my hair but um you know usually when I do my hair I like to make it you know I kind of blow dry it straight and flat iron a little bit just to make sure it's easier uh, for me to work with but I have to get, you know, when it's, when, like I was saying, like when it's in this natural state, it's way fuller. But once it's time for me to straighten it, then, you know, my natural thinness of my hair tends to show. So I just like to, you know, make sure I leave out enough. And then, you know, also I like for my insta to look very, very natural. And you guys will see it once, um, you know, you will see the finishing look, of course, to understand exactly uh, what I mean. But... Um, as y'all can see, I just went in with the flat iron, maybe one or two strokes, and just got everything straightened out. Because one thing about my hair, it straightens out so good, and it will last, unless it, my shit get, like, you know, wet or whatever. But <laughs> it will last for the most part with me actually being natural. And maybe one of these days when I feel like being aggravated for three hours, I will show y'all my real, uh, you know, natural hair pattern, and then show y'all how I really, like, straighten it out. But right now and i want to say this because a lot of people you know back in the days some people still now they make the same mistake don't ever 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 leave a straight leave out on top of curly hair you better get you some crampus wand curl or something like you must make the hair blend with whatever texture that you are wearing so with that being said i'm taking my hair and I'm taking some of the, uh, you know, the U part wig of the deep way hair itself. And I'm taking my crimping iron and I'm going to, you know, comb it out, make sure everything is smooth first, like I just did, and take a little of that trust in my holding spray. And I could have spritzed my leave out down first and then crimped it, but I kind of wanted, you know, the crimps to be soft still. So that's why I'm only using holding spray for, you know, like a softer hold. And I'm going to crimp my real leave out with the um with some of that deep wave hair that's you know right underneath my leave out so it can just blend so much better and you just want to take your time and crimp it all the way down and when i tell y'all once i drop it and you know i rub my hands through it and just let it go with the flow it is so freaking pretty and with me i don't like to crimp it all the way from the very root because i don't like it to be like humpy at the top i like to stop my crimp about an inch or so down from the leave out and also because i'm going to be pulling this section behind my ears so i didn't want to be crimped up you know like not too high but just enough to make sure that it's very uh very blended so i will crimp um the rest of my leave out on this side crimp it on the other side and then we're going to get into swooping them baby hairs okay period so y'all stay tuned
other side first, then laid the leave out part. But this time I laid the leave out part first. And now I'm going to go in with the crimping iron and do the same exact thing I did on the other side. Grab my natural hair and grab some of that deep wave hair and just crimp everything on together. And I did notice after installing this wig that I did miss like a little piece at the bottom. But it's going to get covered up. So, you know, I know I missed the piece. Now going back and watching the video. But what's done is done. It's still laid and yeah, never played. <laughs> Period. So y'all stay tuned in. control today i'm going to be using the she is bomb um collection edge control and get these baby hairs swooped and you know this just seals the deal for me like i love to do baby hairs um if you're not a baby hair kind of person you could just kind of smooth your edges all together and you know just push it behind your ear but me i'm going to create me some little swoops or whatever and i did not do the exotic baby hairs on myself i just did like the normal ones i would do when I'm doing like leave out on someone. So I'm just going to create about three little parted off swoops. And you know it's kind of hard to do this on camera. So I am going to smooth it out as best as I can on camera. And then with the other side I'm just going to add a little edge control. Because y'all see that little one piece that just kind of like out of place. But yeah we're going to get that one together. We're just going to add a little edge control at the root of that part. And just kind of like push it underneath. Um, where I had that parting area where I said it's going to be pushed under the wig all, you know, as well. So I'm just going to add it to that little push away collection and just get everything all smoothed out. And then I'm going to take off this cape and, um, you know, I'm going to black spray the part and conceal it um, and get it all laid. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. But here it is. I'm going to go ahead and I got closer for y'all. I stood up 
and I'm spraying the black spray. Like, I kind of just put the razor comb, um, the razor, yeah, the razor, eyebrow razor in on my part. And then I just went ahead and did the black spray around it. And y'all can see the baby hairs up close in Paris now. <laughs> And um, I'm just adding a little more pump it up spritz to the outside just to make sure everything is super laid because, you know, it was actually going out and everything. And I just wanted it to look nice and good. And I'm just taking a little oil sheen because sometimes the edge control can leave somewhat of a white residue. But it's done. Looking good. Loved it. So let me know what y'all think down below. More you park tutorials? Yes, no, maybe so. And anywho, thank y'all for tuning in. I will see you guys on the next video.